Hello, Arizona sports fans. Today, we got ourselves a new cornerback. Yep, that's right. The day after the Cardinals cut half their cornerbacks, we get one back. All right, let's dive in. Now, I mentioned in yesterday's video that I didn't want the Cardinals to go out and just pick up anyone, especially scraps from other teams after the final cuts to the 53 were made. So when I think about our trade acquisition for Trayvon Mullen from the Raiders, and from what reports I have read, Mullen was a player who was possibly on the chopping block. In other words, it was going to be released. Instead of waiting to be cut, the Cardinals chose to give up a conditional 7th round pick, which could change to a 6th if he plays at least 10 games. I'm assuming the Cardinals gave up the pick because they didn't want to go through the process of free agency to deal with other teams in an effort to sign him. In that case, I totally understand. However, maybe I'm overthinking this, but this is what I was hoping not to see. According to his stats with the Raiders over the past 3 years, he has 134 tackles, no sacks, 4 interceptions, and no touchdowns. To top that off, he was also hurt most of last year with a foot and toe injuries. In other words, he's an average player and now possibly damaged goods. My assessment may be a little harsh, and maybe that's because I had my heart set on Joe Hayden or maybe Marcus Peters. But then again, they may be over the hill, and I just need to get over it. And quite possibly, Mullen may be the next best thing in the NFL. All he needed was a change of scenery to make it happen. He is still young at 24 years old and does have a lot of years left, again, as long as he can stay healthy in this league. I just don't want another Robert Alford on our hands. Alford was a decent cornerback and held his own, but he could never stay healthy. Other stats to consider is he is 6'2", weighs 200 pounds. He is a bigger back, so that is something that we do need. Hopefully this signing works out for us. Our cornerback room has been a revolving door for a decade with exception to Patrick Peterson, of course. I do look forward to a time where we'll have more stability at the position. Our boys are young and being ranked 24th in team covers last year proved that. With another year under their belt, I'm hoping their experience and staying healthy causes stability and improvement in this year's games. I am excited to see what Mullen brings to our team. Defensively, we'll need all the help we can get. Our first four games of the year are against the Chiefs, the Raiders, the Rams, and the Panthers. A very challenging schedule to start the season, depending on how well we could do, could set the tone for the rest of the season. That is, as long as we don't fall apart again. Oh boy. All right, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to click that bell to get notifications for my next video, and I will see you all next time.